shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hid in the field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of good price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind, which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels to cast the bad away. The Lord said that on the heavenly Father's right hand there are pleasures evermore. And it says that I have not seen neither ear heard the things which the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him. You know, there's a whole another world of greatness that awaits us when the kingdom of heaven is established. It's not seen in this society. In this society, we only see carnal things that reason offers in this society. But when the kingdom is established, the Lord is going to open us up to a whole nother world, you know, of pleasure, of knowledge, of wisdom, understanding, you know, just, I mean, it can't even be put into words, you know, because our imagination only goes but so far.